Now, for this question, you have to know the relationship between demand and marginal revenue from monopoly. Now, I'll take a step back and go back to perfect competition. In a perfect competitive firm, the price was set at six. So this firm can sell as many units as it wants at a price that's set by the market. So for the first unit, the price is six, and the additional revenue the firm generates is six. The next unit, they sell another one for six, the additional revenue the firm gets is six. So demand or the price equal the marginal revenue. These firms are price takers. Now that's not what's going on with a monopoly. A monopoly is a price maker. They can charge any price they want. They can charge $5 million if they want. No one's going to buy it, but they could if they want to. Or they can charge five cents. But the relationship between demand and marginal revenue is not going to be equal like it was before. Look at this example. If the price is anything above 10, no one's going to buy. If they want to sell any units, they've got to lower the price at least to 10. That's what the demand is. At $10, one unit is purchased. And in this situation, the MR equals the price or the demand curve for that first unit. The price is $10, the additional revenue the monopoly gets is $10. Now this monopoly wants to sell another unit, right? It's to sell two units, people are willing to pay $9, that's the price, and so they charge $9. But they can't price discriminate. Uh, what do you mean? They can't charge one person $10 and the other person $9. That's called price discrimination. And this is a non-price discriminating monopoly. So when the monopoly lowers the price of the second unit down to nine to get someone to buy that unit, they get nine additional dollars. But the marginal revenue is only eight because they lose a dollar on the unit they could have sold at a higher price. What? Let me show you with the next one. If the price is nine, two units will be sold, all right? But I want to get more customers. I want to sell more units. To do that, I've got to lower the price, right? A monopoly has to lower its price. Lower the price down to eight. I can't price discriminate, so I have to charge eight dollars for each of these three units. I gain the eight dollars, the price, but I lose two dollars on the previous units I could have sold for nine. Right? The price is eight, but my additional revenue is only six. This concept is super important because it happens for monopolies, monopolist competition, and oligopolies. They're all price makers, so to sell another unit, they've got to lower the price to get more people to buy, and the additional revenue is going to be less than that price. Powers! Ah! Alright, here we go.